honestly, bro, I can't believe that these people have to have to go through this in their life, man. It's just God, this shit is. What up, YouTube? Welcome back to American Dilly Man, America's number one reaction channel. Today, man, I saw some videos of the homie Up Church, man. He's been going through some shit, bro. I can't even lie, dude. The situation is so stupid that I can't even believe one of his friends or so-called friends or associates or whatever would put him through this, man. It's just ridiculous. Let's jump into the video. I'm about to post a screenshot. Look at this shit real quick, and then I'll tell you, and then I'll explain it to you. Yeah, that screenshot, right? Remember the dude the other day that asked me to send him 500 bucks, and then he he was claiming to me that it didn't work, and it, I, I had to do it through a different app or whatever? Yeah, the motherfucker was lying the whole goddamn time, saying, oh, Creek Squad this, Creek Squad that, and then fucking literally telling somebody, telling this girl that he really didn't even need the money, that he was lying to me about being homeless, lying about sleeping in his car. You petty-ass motherfucker. There's real fucking people out here that really do need fucking help. They really are living in their fucking car. That I really could be fucking helping. And then they got motherfuckers like you lying about that kind of shit? Bro, you a petty motherfucker. You know why you're a petty motherfucker? Because you a lying ass bitch. And there really, really could be somebody out here that could use 500 fucking dollars. Instead of lying about being homeless, bro, who the fuck lies about being homeless? I don't want you to be a part of Creek Squad. You don't lie about shit like that. Because we're out here to help each other and support each other. Not fucking lie to get money from Up Church because Up Church is a singer. You piece of fucking shit. You ain't a part of Creek Squad no more, motherfucker. You can take it out your bio. You can do everything. And if you don't, I'll fucking out you. And I'll tell everybody where your fucking page is. Fake ass motherfucker. I mean, seriously, dude. That is a bold face lie to, to to call one of your homeboys and tell him like hey bro i'm homeless i can't even you know send me some money and then and then out of the good nature of the man's heart man he sends the money right because that's that's cool and then you find out that the homeboy he's lying to you like like damn bro i mean i can't be surprised man Okay, super celebrity. I mean, I guess he's not a super celebrity, but a successful person. There you go. Like a super successful person, you know, people are going to come out of the woodwork and try to get every little penny out of you or feel like you're not doing enough for this and that. And I mean, hell, even in my life, in my situation, bro, I've had, uh, you know, friends ask to borrow money and things like that. And it, this situation up church is going through reminds me of something that my dad told me a long time ago, man. Look, I uh, I had lent one of my homeboy fifty bucks. It ain't nothing. Fifty bucks ain't nothing. But but he needed. He was like, hey man, you know I ain't got money and I need to get some gas money and I want to buy a pregnancy test from a girl because I think she's pregnant and and can I borrow fifty bucks? I give it back to you on payday. And I was like, sure, dude, sure, bro, because I'm your dude, man. So anyway, payday rolls around. Homeboy ghosts me. He ain't paying me back. You know, like I said, 50 bucks ain't nothing, but it's a principle of the thing. Like, you told me you were going to pay me this back. So, I was like, hey, man, I'm calling you. Like, hey, you got to pay me that money. Next thing, this dude wants to fight me over this. In, like, in public, like, fight me over this. Blah, 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 blah. And um, it wasn't even like that. So, my dad told me, man. He sat me down. He's like, look, bro, you can go ahead and you can fight this dude for that. And you have every right to do that and beat the piss out. Be $50 out of him. Or... You can let that shit ride because you already know that this coward ass motherfucker going to call the police. You're in turn going to pay $50 to get yourself in trouble, get yourself arrested for assault, blah, blah, blah. Or you can look at it as a blessing. You paid $50 to get this dude out of your life. Because obviously if somebody's willing to cash in a friendship for 50 bucks, then that's not something you wanted in your life. And that's how I look at this up church, man. You paid, you paid 500 bucks, but... Obviously, you didn't need somebody like that in your circle. You feel me, homeboy? You didn't need somebody like that in your circle who's willing to throw away a friendship and however long you know them for fucking for 500 bucks. That just ain't, that ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Let's jump into this clip, man. Because Upchurch up church is understanding, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, with success, man, people are going to try to take advantage of it. They're always going to try to take advantage of it. But you know what? Hey. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise because maybe it's putting me 
to the mindset that I need to be at. I'm already fucking starting to call motherfuckers out on their bullshit, and I'm just ready to keep on doing it now. Fuck being nice. Fuck thinking about anybody's feelings. Fuck wondering if they're going to boo-hoo cry about it. I don't care no more. Don't fuck with me unless you want me to out your ass. I'm fucking... <laughs> lying. Telling me you're homeless. For nothing. And then the girl that you're talking to messages me and is like, Hey, he's lying. Here's the proof. By the way, thank you for doing that. You're a fucking real one for that. The brand dude... You're a fucking joke. All right, y'all. So that's just what it is, man. And it, fuck, man. If you like this video, leave me a like and subscribe down bottom and a comment. Let me know if you've ever been through a situation like this in your life. You know what I mean? Where somebody just completely took your friendship for granted. All for a little measly cash, man. A little measly payout. They want to throw away a whole, a whole, you know. It's just, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it, y'all. Um, <laughs> fuck, man. But like I said, if you like this video, leave me a like and subscribe down bottom. American Dilly is out because I got to get me a beverage. You know what I'm saying? It's America.